Example 37.5. In how many ways can I order six different numbers? For example, how many arrangements of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11 are there? This phrase at the top of the problem, it says in how many ways, that phrase indicates a counting technique is needed. And we usually want to start off thinking about the fundamental counting rule. So the fundamental counting rule, remember, takes something like this and breaks it into a set of steps. So if I have to figure out the different ways I can arrange six numbers, one way I can do that is to create six spots, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six spots. And I can think about you know, which number I want to put into each position or spot. And that will basically scramble the numbers up, won't it? And then it'll also make it into a set of steps for me so I can think, well, you know, how many choices do I have for the first position? How many choices do I have for the second position, the third one, fourth, so on and so forth, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just say, okay, if that's going to work, if that's the fundamental counting rule, then all I have to do is remember that I'll multiply the number I put in each space here. And so what that's going to say is I'm going to say, okay, well, this represents my first, this is my first choice, right? My first choice. How many options are there? How many options are there? Okay, so what we're asking is, you know, how many numbers do I have to choose from that I could put in that position? Well, since it's the first number in my string of six digits, I can put any of these six numbers in there, right? So I'll have six choices for that first position, right? But once you've chosen one of those numbers, then for the next choice, right, your second choice, you don't have as many options, right? For the second choice, asking the same question, how many options are there? Well, there's only going to be five at that point because you've chosen one of those numbers already for the first position. And then so on and so forth, right? It'll be four, three, two, one. So all the rest of the positions are filled in according to the same logic we did with the UPS driver example. And at that point, when you look at it, you'll end up having how many total um, different possible arrangements? Well, you need to multiply these all out. That is actually six factorial, which could be done in a calculator. We can just multiply this out as you see it, right? Or if you've memorized it, you'll remember that it's 720. Remember that five factorial is 120, so we're thinking of six times 120, which is 720. I'll just show you how to do that in the calculator very quickly. If you want to see how it's done again, we just press the six. I press the math key in this calculator. I arrow over to where it says PRB, and it's option four where the factorial symbol exists. Hit enter, and I get 720. And that's how it's done. Or, of course, you could just simply do six times five times four times three times two times one, but times one doesn't do anything, you know, and we get 720. So that's it.